why are we consistently debating things that we know to be true? We know that millions are underinsured and uninsured in this country and don't have access to health care. That is a fact. We know that climate change is real. That is true. Why are we debating it? We know that students have been shot up in their classrooms. Why are we debating whether or not these issues are real? We know that there are people who do not have access to clean water and healthy food. Why are we debating that? We know that there are people who are homeless right now who need help. Why are we debating this? Why are we debating these things when we know that these are issues we should be addressing? We should be having conversations about the best way and the best approach to addressing these issues, but instead, we're debating whether or not these issues exist in the first place. Why are we debating whether or not these issues exist? We know that they exist. We know these issues are real. Why are we debating things that we all know to be true? As many of y'all know by now, I am a health rights advocate, and I advocate on behalf of health being a human right for all people. But I see people so often want to debate whether or not health needs to be a right for people. Want to debate whether or not people need access to health care. Want to debate whether or not people actually don't have access to health care in this country. We know the answer to these questions. Why are we debating things we already know to be true? Health is a right. And it should be a right. Not just a privilege wielded by the affluent, but a right for all people. We understand that there are people in this country who do not have access to health care and who lose their lives because of it. We understand that there is not enough emphasis, nor is there enough funding placed into preventative health care measures. We understand that climate change is a threat to us all and to our planet. Our climate is changing. Why are we debating this? We should be having conversations about the best way to approach it. How can we get people access to health care? How can we address the issues in our climate? How can we address the number one cause of children losing their lives in this country, which is gun violence? That's what we should be having conversations about, not conversations about whether or not these issues exist. They exist and we all know that they do. It's as if we as a nation are always doing things backwards. Instead of addressing, rectifying, and fixing the issues in this nation, we'd rather argue about whether or not the issue exists in the first place. When majority of Americans say we want common sense gun laws to ensure that our children are not being shot up in our schools, the Supreme Court goes and makes bump stocks illegal again. When majority of American citizens say that they want automated voter registration, the House goes and passes a bill to automate draft registration. When majority of Americans can recognize that our climate crisis is an issue and that our climate is changing and that we should address the issue of climate change, you have Project 2025 trainees and trainers going and making videos on YouTube saying that climate change is a hoax. When majority of American citizens say that they want access to health care and health care coverage and health insurance. You have people who are campaigning to completely abolish the Affordable Care Act with no means or plans to replace or improve it. Why are we debating this right now? We know that the Affordable Care Act made it so that people had access to health care that did not have access prior to the Affordable Care Act. And when majority of American citizens emphasize the importance of education and say that they want their children to have access to quality education, you have an entire campaign running to dissolve and abolish the Department of Education with no means, with no plans of repairing replacing or improving it. Just completely dissolve it and leave it to the states to go unchecked and unmitigated. We have to take a moment to ask ourselves what is going on? Why do we consistently see this nation do things backwards? When the people ask for something and want something, 
why is it that this nation continues to do the opposite? Continues to be so reluctant to positive change. And no, it's not communism or socialism to want to make sure that people are taken care of. We've weaponized these terms and demonized these terms to where Americans are afraid to say communism or socialism, but that's not even what this is. It's just making sure that people are taken care of, that people actually have what they need. Is that not the role of our government to ensure that the people in which they govern are taken care of? That they are given what they need? Clean air, clean water, food, health, access to health care, safe living environments, safety and comfort. Is that not the role of our government? So why is this so hard for people to understand? Why do people want to argue whether or not these issues exist in the first place? instead of arguing about the best ways to address them. You can have disagreements on the best ways to address the issue, but we cannot find ourselves stuck in this limbo state, this cyclic hamster wheel of arguing whether or not the issues exist in the first place they exist, and it's time that we address them. 